Hello and welcome to a casual review of DC's League of Super Pets, The Adventures of Crypto and Ace. Uh, I've played this on the uh, on my Xbox Series console back on June 29th, 2023. And matter of fact, at the time I'm recording this, uh, it's been a few hours since I finished uh, that particular stream. So everything regarding uh, this particular game is still fresh in my mind. Uh, visually, in terms of its presentation, it's basic. It's clear that this was a budget title meant to cash in on the League of Super Pets movie from a couple, from a few years ago. Uh, the music is rather mundane and repetitive, but where this game shines a bit is in between levels. Uh, as you progress through the story, the voice uh, cast um, for Crypto Ace Chip. Uh, Mer uh, Merton, PB, and Lex Luthor, the, the, the actors who supply the voices, actually go above and beyond. They actually sound invested in uh, bringing those characters to life for a real simple, basic rail shooter. It, it, it is how, if I was to kind of put this in uh, a, a ridiculous comparison, this is House of the Dead for a younger audience with dogs that fly and shoot lasers. Well, heat beams for in Crypto's case and I guess laser batarangs in the case of Ace, the bat hound. Uh, and, if, and if you're wondering how the hell Ace is flying, he has like little ro uh, little rockets attached to him like in a belt type thing. So again, um, the first level will give you a clear basic tutorial. You don't have to use all of the uh, buttons on your controllers for it. Uh, left analog stick to maneuver, X is to fire, Y is to use your uh, chosen uh, hero dog's uh, unique ability. In the case of Ace, it's uh, it's a, uh, assuming the case of Crypto is a sustained uh, eye beam. A heat beam for for several moments in the case of ace you get like a screen clear battering attack uh, which is real useful in some of the later uh, stages uh, i would dare say crypt uh, excuse me ace is actually a better overall character for this type of game and, than crypto is uh, it, it takes a little while to get used to crypto's the unique way of aiming in terms of using his unique ability uh, B on an Xbox controller is along with movement is, will have you dodge and A is to like lurch forward to, like a dash you kind of to, to speed up for like a for a period of time and these skills uh, in terms of health and uh, stamina for bursting forward um, you can level those up and have it and which makes the game much much easier than than it already is actually. Uh, there are three major boss fights at the every, every fifth stage of the 15 stages. You fight like a um, a snake bot, a octobot, and then Lex Luthor himself. Uh, so in stages five, ten, and fifteen, so these boss encounters does involve. There's a bit of challenge to those boss encounters. One, you have to get to the boss and make sure you have enough health to do so. But if you Fail, you respawn at the last checkpoint with your health restored, so you don't really get penalized fully. But uh, there is a bit of pride in being able to clear a stage, uh, the ball stages, without uh, having to do a retry. Uh, so everything there visually, this game is a without without a doubt the definition of a budget title in terms of its visual presentation. Right, it's very basic. And what it does, the character models for Ace and Crypto uh, look fantastic. Uh, with that in with that in mind, as well as the three big bosses, the generic enemies, the Lexbots, are what they are. Uh, it's like they're they're, they're generic robots. Um, I would dare say um, they look uh, more generic than what uh, the similar type of enemies look in. DC Supergirl, uh, Superhero Girls Team Power for the, the Nintendo Switch, if you want a cross comparison there. Um, the music is rather repetitive and mundane. Uh, the sound effects sound different in us uh, in terms of explosions and, and, um, and the basic sound effects. But again, it's a very casual game, a, a budget game. 
Um, let's see, uh, in terms of anything else, your heads up display is pretty basic. It's very, very straightforward. You have your health meter up at the top left, your stamina meter just below it, and below that, the ready status of your character's unique ability, as well as a super ability for your companion in the characters. Uh, you, you, there are three. You begin with Chip, the uh, chipmunk or squirrel green lantern who provides um, a twin for you to utilize, as actually seen here in this um, in this portion of the footage that's playing. Uh, what the twins do is that they target your uh, whatever enemy that you're targeting. So it comes very much in handy in like um, in boss fights if you choose to rock with uh, Chip. Uh, Merton gives you uh, a, a sustained speed boost for a period of time, and PB, aka Wonder Pig, uh, gives you a shield, which, when fully upgraded, damn, restores your health and basically makes you invulnerable for a very uh, for an ex very. Uh, for a noticeably extended period of time. It says about 15 uh, plus seconds or so, but it certainly feels a lot longer than that when facing uh, uh, Lex Luthor at the very end of the uh, of the game. There are, now I mentioned there were 15 levels, but there are several sub-stages, uh, side missions that unlock, and this leads to the replayability uh, factor of, of this game. As you see here, there is a pet adoption gimmick. Uh, during each level uh, main story and side missions uh you will come across cards these cards are basically pets stray animals that are captured by lex luther and your job is to put these pets with an owner um step one once you have them is you go through each pet and see and try and um bring up their happiness by either guessing the right food based on the description or their favorite toy and then step two is you pair them with an owner that has like similar traits and and there is a lot of there's a lot of fun to it you start recognizing what toy or what food correspond to a specific detail uh so like always eat the fruits and veggies that typically would be indicated by a carrot uh likes your mind thing sore in the air that's a frisbee and for at least from the pet side on the owner side Again, their descri descriptions are a little bit more vague. They, it could be something like uh, they like to build uh, tree houses or uh, they they have a very good arm or they like to play fetch or they have a rodent pro problem. So it's like the pets you end up assigning them are either dogs, cats, or birds in, in several cases. Uh, but you, you also will start noticing that uh, some of the particular items uh, correspond to which type of animal, like um, like milk and and tuna fish normally will be one of the true choices for a cat, or as well as a uh, mice and a little dingy, uh, little uh, or laser pointer would typically be associated with a cat. Uh, there, but there are some things that can be a little bit tricky. There's two types of rope. Uh, toys that kind of be be either or as it relates to a dog um so it's a it's a, again it's a, it's a fun little mix and match there um uh, but the, again uh in, in terms of how long it would take to play it again i did since i streamed it and and you can find that stream here on my youtube channel from a few weeks ago at the time this video is posted here as it relates to my casual re reviews uh, it took me about three three and a half hours uh to get through all 15 levels plus side missions and going in and do dealing with the pet adoption uh, uh a sub game um and you're able to get like uh in that time frame i was able to get about uh 14 of the game's 15 achievements the toughest achievement to get in this uh, particular game is actually related to clearing a stage without uh destroying an enemy uh, which is the, the rarest achievement at the time i'm recording this 0.95 percent of xbox players have unlocked that achievement it it 
it, it is a very rare achievement so it will take practice uh folks uh, there are a couple of solutions uh but a lot of it may come down to like pattern recognition of enemies if so, uh, most folks are saying do it on stage one the, the tutorial stage but one has to remember the amount of enemies uh, will go out of their way to try and collide with you. Uh, so, and if they collide with you, guess what? Uh, and, and they are destroyed. It counts as a destroyed enemy, even if you did not initiate the contact. So there's a, <laughs> there's a bit of a nonsense associated with it. And you, and, and let me stress that you cannot destroy anything. Uh, not even the, uh, what will appear to be like a, like, a. a a something that you associated with uh just getting points uh it's like you can't use the attack abilities at all so mastering dodging and and, and notice and trying to remember the uh placement of enemies or reading their movements on the fly is the best way to go the other solution that people say is to do one of the side missions in the second area uh which is roughly about 60% uh, uh, just dodging cars and, and picking up and grabbing up pods with the, uh, for the adopted pets, but there's still 40% enemies in it. And the very last one uh, has you, uh, and I couldn't see how it w could be, it was done or, or, or from what I can tell, because it, it, it's a side mission, the last portion of it has enemies where you typically would have to destroy them just to get past them. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But um, at the time I'm recording this, it's the one achievement I did not get uh, during uh, my playthrough of it. Uh, do I would I recommend DC League of Super Pets? Uh, yes, if you have a young gamer in, in your family. Uh, this will certainly teach them how to play a, a rail shooter for, for, on a very basic level. If you're looking for, if you're looking for something just to fill a two, uh, a few hours of your day, uh, something that's quick, simple, um, that you can throw to and have a little fun with it, uh, it, it use it as a stress reliever. Just hey, fly around as a dog, taking out enemies. It's like it's perfect in in that case there and. And if you're looking to boost your achievement score on the Xbox side or your trophy, I'm not sure if this came out on uh, the PlayStation side. So, so if you're looking to, at the very least, looking to boost your uh, achievement score as an Xbox uh, console player, it's it's an easy 950. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, 850 uh, achievement score in terms of the first 14 achievements. Uh, excuse me, or 900 rather, because I believe the last achievement is, is it 50? As a matter of fact, I do not know uh, what that last achievement is worth. I think it's worth 50. Uh, I'll, matter of fact, I'll double check here. Yep, the last achievement to get that perfect run on the stage without uh, destroying an enemy is worth 50 G. So at the very least, you can get 950 G a gamer score easily with DC League of Super Pets on a, on a very casual playthrough of it. And with and with a fair amount of practice, near as I can tell, you, you can get that other 50 to get a perfect 1,000 for a full completion. So, so with that said, um, check it out if, if, if you're so inclined um, or if it's on Game Pass on the Xbox side, I would definitely recommend it if you're just looking for something to fill a few hours or give a younger... Uh, game or something to do at the same time uh so on that note tighten your friendship bracelet stay safe have a good one and we'll see you in the next video bye